Hey everybody, I'm doing another video on iPhone 5 rumors. There's been some new ones. So according to um, iMorg and All Things the and the um, Verge, um, they are confirming that the September 12th would be a special event for the new iPhone. And um, the report also says that they are also um, other devices such as the iPad Mini. I'll give you a link down in the description. Um, but they're saying September 12th, which is, seems pretty, pretty early for the um, iPhone um, 5 to at least be announced because they announced the iPhone 4S in September. I mean October, and so that seems kind of like a month off, but it's still the um, thing. So then the Loop is confirming it. Um, Retner, Retners, um, Bloomberg, and New York Times are also confirming the date. So at least four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, seven people are confirming this date. So they must have some really good info. So the next thing is BGR.com. And, um, oh. No, we don't need to see that. I'll do that in another video. Um, these brand new iPhone dock pictures for the first time, these um, a French site is publishing the first photos of the long rumor network dock connector in the I next iPhone. I mean, they don't really need a dock connector because they already have a pretty good one on here. But I mean, it'd be not, it'd be able to have more space for the screen and the battery, and so it'd be good. So I'm kind of excited for that. And then, the um, according to this report, um, the iPhone 5 will be thinner, will be seven point millimeters thin, thinner than the Galaxy S2, and even thinner than the HTC One S. I'm surprised the Galaxy S3 is. Um, three is pretty thin. So by an Apple Daily, they're saying final measurements of the device. Um, so it should launch in September twenty first, and yeah, but I don't believe it's coming that soon. So let's see. There's another report I saw today. Ah, yes, the iPhone 5's battery race. Um. I think the 4S is on the left if, um, yeah, because the, the 4S has somewhat good battery life, um, but the 5, since there'd be 4 LG, 4G LTE, a, um, a larger screen, so more power, and, you know, it'd be pretty big, but according to this, they found, um, previous gen measuring at 4.5. Um, 1,400 million thou battery, and by comparison, the Galaxy S3 has a battery check of 2,000, while the Motorola Droid Razor Max checks at a whopping 3,300 3, thou battery. And um, you know, hopefully they'll tweak a dual core system on the chip for this new iPhone. So hopefully they'll bring some new battery life and I will put the link in that description as well um so that is I think there was was there anything else I don't think so so I will do another video in a few days I start school on Wednesday so I probably won't start one till next Saturday so click the like button subscribe I will see you in the next video